Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video. Now I've noticed something in my YouTube recommended videos feed. I keep seeing videos pop up about people that just seem absolutely ecstatic because they rode on the bullet train in China. And I used to live in Japan, so I've taken a lot of trains in my life. Been in China a long time. I regularly take the train, so I'm going to ride in the business class. That's actually above first class seating. So there are three levels. There's the normal seating, which is second class. And then there's first class, which is a little nicer, a little more spacious. And then the one that's supposedly the really, really nice one is business class. And I keep seeing people that it just seem so amazed at their experience in the business class seating on the Chinese bullet train. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's like and give you my honest opinion about it. Based on the videos I've seen on uh, on YouTube, or at least the thumbnails, I'm expecting a lot. I'm expecting a, an out of this world experience. All right, so this is what it looks like. Got a pretty fancy chair here. You can recline and in any kind of direction that you want it to. So it is, to be honest, it is very comfortable, very nice. Got these nice pull down windows. show you is that you're in a room that's closed off you know uh, you got tons let me look how much leg room I have and then um, you can see there aren't that many people in here it's only seating about five people so for a long trip this would be nice because it would be quiet you could recline and you you could rel you could sleep relatively comfortably on here I think I think even I could and I'm a light sleeper got some snacks from the train attendant let's see what we got here of course these are complimentary we've got a uh, okay a type of dried beef we've got some dried squid we've got some cashews got a little muffin and a couple of sweet snacks here we've got one that i really like hawthorne it's kind of like cranberry-ish and they make like these jelly you can get jelly snacks or like hawthorne wafers they're pretty good and a little oreo wafer bar yeah i just wanted to give you guys a first-hand look because like i said i've seen a lot of videos popping up about this uh about this business class seating on the uh on the bullet train here in china and we're on it right now so this is what it looks like it is good it is comfortable but if you've been on trains before and you know or traveled through japan or something i mean it's not anything that's gonna like totally excite you or you know i'm not sure what the whole rage is online but as far as traveling comfortably it is definitely very nice so this is the normal class would be considered second class and then take you guys through second class up to, up to first class You can see more leg room, less seats, a bit less chaotic. And then finally, into my section, right here, the business class area. So when you compare it to those, what you've just seen, you can see it is pretty darn nice. But yeah, these chairs, like leather leather seats, they can recline in many different ways. Any which way you want. You can call the attendant, just push here. Um, you can charge your, you've got a, an outlet here if you need to charge something up. And if you're reading, they've even got a little reading lamp here. So I've got to be honest, I mean, it is pretty snazzy for sure. Thanks for watching the video.
But just hang tight because it's not over yet. There are a few things I need to add to the video that you just saw. First of all, I want to tell you about what happened after the train attendant tried to stop me in the walkway, but I basically just ignored her. Well, a couple minutes later, she came back to the business class carriage where I was seated and asked me, with quite a serious face, Excuse me, mister, were you recording a video a few moments ago? Yes, I was, I answered very calmly, but matter-of-factly. Why were you filming? She then asked. Because I wanted to. And because sometimes I record my trips. It's normal, I responded. Well, um, she started. I know what she was trying to get at. She was trying to tell me that I'm not allowed to do that. But I suppose my way of speaking to her so confidently and matter-of-factly gave her pause. She could sense that I was not going to be some kind of pushover on this matter. And she was right. Had she asked me to delete the footage, I wouldn't have. And here's why. I see people record on the train all the damn time. End of story. I'm not going to be the one that gets singled out. While she was trying to get the words out, I asked her, Is there a problem with that? I didn't ask it rudely at all. I was being polite, but there was a strength, a confidence, and a matter-of-factness in my voice. Um, no, no, just wanted to ask, she said. Just checking if there was something you needed. Nope, I'm fine. Thanks, though, I replied, and that's how the conversation ended. When you look on YouTube, you see so many videos of people openly filming. While I'm on the train, I often see Chinese folks with their phones out, taking videos, taking pictures. But about all of these quote-unquote foreigners in China making videos of them freaking out about the trains in China, I have to ask, what's the big freaking deal? I suppose if I had never lived in Japan, then these trains might come as something a bit more exciting, but honestly, still not really. They are a convenient method of transportation. That's essentially the end-all and be-all of it. Have you ever heard of the four great inventions of China? If not, here they are. Paper making, printing, gunpowder, and the compass. Pretty cool, yeah? Something to be proud of. Well, what you may not know is that China also claims to have four great modern inventions. And here they are, okay? Number one, mobile payments. Number two, e-commerce. Number three, bicycle sharing. And number four, yep, you guessed it, bullet trains. But here's the funny thing, though. Not a single one of these so-called modern Chinese inventions was invented in China. So I think it's quite disingenuous to make such a claim, but they literally do. You can see, when I search the term in Chinese on Baidu, which is China's top search engine, they pop right up. I'm not going to go into all of them here and the history and where they were actually invented. We can save that for another video. But I do want to talk about China's claim of inventing the high-speed rail, aka bullet train. Well, it's pretty simple. They did not invent it. Japan did. Japan has had a bullet train called the Shinkansen since the 1960s. Here's a video clip of me boarding one during my last trip to Japan. Well, for the first time during this trip, and the only time, I'm taking the actual Japanese bullet train. It's called the Shinkansen. And this is it. Obviously, it's pricier. It's the priciest of the options, but it's also the fastest. A little historical footnote is that former Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping was so impressed by Japan's high-speed railways during his 1978 trip to Japan that he made it part of China's mid-to-long-term state plan to develop their own high-speed railway system. If you speak to any person in mainland China and ask them what China's Xin Si Da Fa Ming are, or their four great modern inventions, they will all mention bullet trains as one of the four. A lot of people here actually believe it as well, which is quite mind-blowing when you really think about it. All that said, China has a huge network of high-speed rails. In fact, the high-speed railways in China account for two-thirds of HSR lines globally, HSR high-speed railways. 
As a traveler here in China, I'm on the bullet train all the time. I'm glad they have it. It makes travel a lot easier and opens up a lot of new possibilities for day trips and it speeds things up a heck of a lot. When I first came to China, they didn't have these railways. They only had the old, painfully slow dinosaur trains, which I think are actually kind of cool in their own way. I've had a lot of really cool experiences on those trains. Taking a sleeper train in China like 24 hours straight. The trains in China are great. I'm happy they're here. That said, I have two issues here. First, all of these YouTubers acting like riding the fast train is the coolest experience of their lives. Nah, I'm not buying it. You saw my experience on the train. That's the actual reality. Simple, smooth, and convenient, though a bit too crowded and often too noisy as well. The second issue I have is with people in China saying they invented it. Just stop, please. No, really, just stop. It's not a good look to openly try to just make things up like that. Oh yeah, we invented it. Thanks for watching the video. The footage you have seen here at the end of the video is mostly just random footage that I took from train windows during my travels all over China. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. I have a lot of big plans moving forward and I'd love to have you join me on my adventure. Also, your contributions make all of this possible. To my supporters here on YouTube via Super Chat and Super Thanks, thank you all so much. To my Patreon supporters, thank you all so much. You are all legends in my book, and I am so grateful for you. We'll catch you all in the next video. Xiaozi, zaijian.